All right, here we go again. I guess it's recording. Another video installment of my original barn car slash survivor, all original cars. Uh, this is my 1949 Packard Custom 8 22nd series. Uh, this is a completely original, unrestored car. All of the paint, all of the chrome, the upholstery, engine, everything is completely original here from what you can see. Um, this was a one owner car when I acquired it, so I'm the second owner. It had a pretty documented history. Uh, I even spoke to the mechanic who was still alive at the time I bought this car. He must have been a young man when he worked on it for the lady that owned it, but she owned it and drove it till 1961 when she bought a new Cadillac 60 Special Fleetwood and then put this away in the garage never to see the light of day again until after she passed away in 2005. I acquired it from the estate in 2007 and anyhow this is probably not one of not my favorite cars though I'm working on a Lincoln Continental right now I'm going to be shooting some videos of later just kind of a walk around and I'm just going to do keep the video short but uh, give a look at the interior here that's the original dashboard apologize if my camera work is a little shaky I'm doing this with a phone camera but it seems to take pretty good video especially when I watch it on my TV at home. But that's the original wood graining on the dashboard. And in all the years it was documented, this is a 46,000 mile car. It had about 44 and change on it when I got it. I put a couple thousand miles on it in 13 years. Uh, here's the original door panels. You can see the lacquers kind of peeled off the wood paneling at the top and the moths have eaten a little bit of it. It still actually has the transit tape from the factory on it in places. Some of this car, they never took the protective tape off from the factory. And I believe the seats were probably covered too because they actually survived pretty good even though there's a little water staining here and there. It's still not bad. Take this cover back real quick so I'm not going to take it all the way off, but this is the original. That's the original shadow cloth material. It's a little dry and not too terribly hard. It must have been kept covered. I always keep it covered. The moths didn't get this, but they sure did get the headliner. And this car, it does have the optional full color key matched interior with a, a light tan headliner to match the light tan upholstery. They had a few colors to choose from, but the color, the trim code for this car's color is trim code X, which I believe does indicate a full color key matched interior. If you didn't opt for that, you got a brown headliner, and you can see that the headliner is the same color as the pillars and the seats. And it's got the two little interior lights in the back. And uh, we'll take a look in the back here. Same story again. Shadow cloth. It's, I keep it covered up. The tops of the seats even aren't too bad. So I must have always been kept covered because usually they're usually badly UV damaged on the tops. But they're not too bad. And of course the original moss tread carpeting. That wool moss tread. Which is very... They really they don't reproduce any of these materials. Uh, the shadow cloth is not reproduced, nor is this carpet. You you are very, you kind of have to get creative to come up with a facsimile. I have seen some good ones that even from three feet away really look the part, but you have to put your fingers in it to notice the difference. But uh, this is an excellent driving car, excellent running car. Very quiet, so quiet it's probably as quiet as a hybrid car. 
Here's a good look at the back. The backup light is not original. That was replaced by its original owner because of problems seeing backing up. They put that tractor light on there. It's like a fog light. But it matches the car. The patina matches the car. So it's probably been on there almost since it was new. And she backed into a garage and took the, what I understand, she took the wall off the foundation when she hit it with that door. And she flattened the trim pretty good, but that's all right. We just kind of leave it go. It doesn't affect the door operation at all. It still closes quite nicely, other than the fact that it's dented. But, uh, again, like I said, all the paint, upholstery, chrome, everything you see is completely original here. And uh, we'll get around the front of the car. One more time here. And I'm going to put the camera down for a second because the next step I'm going to open the hood, which does kind of require me to use two hands to open the hood. So it's not exactly something I recommend trying to do with one hand. One moment. Get a good look at the top of the steering column anyway. And there we have the 356 nine main bearing engine, hydraulic lifters all throughout. When I took the engine apart when I first got it, it was actually very clean inside. It still had the paint stripes on the valve springs. And all indications, the maintenance they told me had been regularly performed on it. Judging by its internals, that was a very accurate description. Um, but uh, anyhow, I thought I'd just put this short video up. I will do the next step here. See, she runs pretty quiet, but uh, come around to the back and get a little exhaust note of it at the at idle. Nor is that the correct exhaust tip. That's actually a 2001 Cadillac Eldorado exhaust tip, but it fit the back of the car, and it just my I piece the exhaust systems together with original sections of pipe that I had laying around from various parts cars and a new old stock muffler. Still in the Packard box. It does have a good sound. But anyhow, I hope you enjoy the video. Again, like I said, I apologize if the camera work ain't the best, but I'm not Federico Fellini or whoever that guy was. So, anyway, just trying to put out another video here. So, during all this kind of strange time it's all a lot of the events are canceled and it's kind of hard for me to share my cars the way I love to share them but I will share at least I can share them this way and actually to some extent people all over the world can get to see them where otherwise they'd have to come to Northeast Ohio to a car show somewhere Got that classic Packard front end and those are factory fog lights it was ordered with those as well. Those, the harness for that is all built in. The other thing I'll note too, this is a three-speed manual with overdrive transmission and it's an R11. And this is a 22nd series car. This was built later in that run. Some of the early 22nd series 49s and all of the 48s had the R9. But uh, anyway, yeah. I appreciate uh, any input on that in the comments but uh, anyway with that signing off and checking out
have a good day and be safe.